previously on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Well, hello everyone, Seth Campbell here. Welcome back to Segway Plays The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Now, everybody sing it with me. I fought the law and the law won. Well, anyway, yeah, we're in jail now because we walked right up to a moblin. And I did that for a reason. You can do this entire, uh, this entire dungeon without getting caught. I honestly find the path that, you know, you sort of end up following a lot easier if you do get caught. I wanted to, you know, show how you can sneak around without getting caught, but I also wanted to show this. Um, now, of course, you're looking for a way out of here. There's, for some reason, a pot on top of the shelf blocking a little hole. Ooh, and a blue rupee. Those are always good. We have triple digit rupees, which is nice. And, as you may recall from earlier episodes, we can crouch. And then turn now. I'm a little bit claustrophobic. The idea of crawling through these little, these crawl spaces honestly terrifies me. Like, I, I just don't like the idea of being completely enclosed. You know, probably not a lot of good air, probably very hot. It, it, uh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, uh, there are some pots here for which we can get rupees, from which we can get rupees if we break them, usually. There we go. Now, the first time I played this game, I got caught pretty much right away. Now, right away, before you do anything, there's this chest right here. And if we'd taken time to look at it, we would have seen, as I mentioned, it's the kind of chest that usually has navigational maps, or navigational equipment, maps of some kind, and indeed the dungeon map. Usually you get this before the compass, and it's a lot simpler to get it before the compass, so it says you press control pad up to view it. Green areas are ones you've visited. The flashing area is your current location. Tilt the control stick up and down to view other floors. Now this is one of the most essential pieces of equipment in any given dungeon. Now previously, room, you know, we'd open this up and rooms that we had already been to would show up on the map, but that was it. Now, rooms that we haven't been to also show up, but they're just not filled in. And because we got the compass, we can see which room the chests are in. Now as we see here, we're on the second floor, but in the room we're in, there's a chest on the first floor. And so, I would like to get that. So... Oops, my bad. You hear that danger music, it's because there's rats around here. But, barrels, barrels. Usually we can hide in them, but oh look! There's a switch back here! Exactly who designed this, uh, you know, prison with a floor switch on the outside? You know, I don't know what the, the thinking was behind that. Now, this is a chest, as we saw in the pirate ship, that tends to indicate something important. You got a piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. More heart containers equals more life. Yes, this is another staple of the Legend of Zelda series. Different games do it slightly differently, but in this one it's the classic collect four pieces of heart and you will get an extra heart in the upper left corner. Which becomes extraordinarily useful later in the game. As you can see, uh, in case you don't find the dungeon map- Ow! Yeah, okay, the rats can steal rupees from you as well. Not good. Anyway. See, there's a hall with moblins there. Can we find- do any of these barrels allow us to- Huh. Oh, they do give us a barrel in here. Okay. So, we've fallen down to the first floor now, so... We kind of have to go about this this way. Now, as we saw, we cannot fight the Moblins at present. Fortunately, whoever runs the fortress here has left 
as I said before, the most incompetent security force and probably the single stupidest uh, division of the minions in charge because they do not notice a barrel. As soon as I say that, one of them looks over here. Yes, you do get a bit of a, uh, a, a, a mulligan, if you will. If it's just sort of right on the borderline, the game will indicate that they did notice you. But fortunately, their attention span is short enough, I guess. Of course, right as I say it. I mean, that's when it happens. But that said... If you're not being too obvious, they will give you a break. Now, I particularly love this because, again, this guy is staring straight at this barrel. Walking straight by this barrel and phasing through, looking into, sticking his head in this barrel that was not here a moment ago. And this does not arouse suspicion. I'm actually getting a little nervous now. I kind of don't want to screw this up. I think I'm out of range of the other guy. And yeah, okay. Now I have to wait out this guy. Now the, the key to this, like I said, it's not that difficult. The key to it is patience. You're your own worst enemy here, in that if you... Like, if you get impatient and you just try to, to bluster your way through, it's a lot more likely to go wrong. So just take your time, and you should be fine. Oh no! Oh no! Minblins! Yeah, we... Don't have any weapons. Are there any weapons around here in a, in a pot? No. Okay, so let's just get out of here. Fortunately, there is a ladder, which also allows us to get back up to the second floor. Now... Oh, come on! That is not fair. Anyway, funny story about these guys, and there'll, there'll be a number of these stories. Um, about the guy, the, the friend of mine that I first uh, borrowed this game from. And in fact, borrowed his whole GameCube so that I could play it back in the day. The official names of enemies, there's a place in this game where you can see them, but unlike, say, Ocarina of Time or Bajora's Mask, this is the room where we got the compass, incidentally, we just climbed up into it. Unlike Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask, you don't have a helpful partner who will identify the enemies for you. So, the official names, it, if this is your first Zelda game, you know, you don't really know some of these enemies. Uh, and so, my friend did not know the name Minblins, neither did I, of course. So, he called those guys Shananas, based on, um, well, that na 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 sounds they make. Of course, we've already gone up there, almost jumped too far. Okay, what am I doing? Get a hold of yourself, Campbell. Anyway. Uh, and so this led us down this path of theorizing that these were minions who had somehow been gotten themselves locked in a room with uh, a broken record of Hey Jude by the Beatles. Oh, crud. Well, I fell down. Can I climb back up? Uh, uh, basically, yeah, a broken record of Hey Jude by the Beatles. And the whole na 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 hey Jude, until it totally drove them insane. I f I feel like had something like that happened to me, I would end up making sounds similar to that as well. Back to business as we wait for the moblins here. Um, I told you I'm gonna have weird stories, but anyway, the dungeon map now appears in the bottom left in its completed entirety, which, again, is super helpful. Um, it all appears green, so don't get too confused about that whole green areas already visited thing, because we haven't already visited. Oh, come on. <sighs> yeah, okay. I told you I'm not that great at this, and I, that, you know, not to try to 
force it, and that's exactly what I did. And because I'm impatient, we're in jail again. It's one rupee, it's not worth it. Anyway. Yes, so this fortress is basically pentagonal, and there's kind of a, you know, a definite path to it. And again, the one reason I feel like it's simpler starting from the jail cell is you start at one of the endpoints of the pentagon. Because it's an incomplete <laughs> pentagon. Don't say a word. Actually, you know what? This is quicker. They're not so incompetent that they see a person walking around and don't realize that he's escaped. Yeah, again, I wasn't good at this as a kid, so that little doo 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 was something I became very familiar with. Anyway. You, okay, 10 rupees. This is worth it, and it didn't fall. But yeah, so starting from the jail cell allows you to essentially do a clean sweep of this place. Though, as you'll see, there is one little extra complication, but I like it then rather than starting better at the point on the bottom right, which is what you do just sort of entering through the front door. Okay. Can I make this jump, please? Yes! All right. Back on track here. I really do love the music in this game. I've mentioned it before, and there are going to be a lot of points where I mention it again, but this sort of evil, you know, ambient stuff with sort of the military drum march to signify the fortress aspect of things. I just, I, Kochi Kondo really outdid himself with this game, honestly. Okay, now I think I've already done this one too, yes. It does behoove you to turn off all the searchlights. I don't think you have to turn off every single one to make it, but there are some that you have to. Okay. Yeah, back in the yellow room. The yellow with the three ships flag, that is. Okay. Come on! Yes! Now this, I believe, is a new one. Or, no, it isn't, because I pushed the box down there already, but I don't think I did the searchlight here. You can't do a searchlight here, there is none. Okay, but it does show you this door. And that is enough to get Tetra to call us again. Aha! I've got it, Link! In order to reach the top of the tower where your sister's being held, you'll have to find the room right below the tower. The path to the tower begins at the rear of that room. You got that? Okay. So as we continue forward, we get to this room which is the top point of the Pentagon. And this is the other little snag that I mentioned, uh, is there is a room over there that has, if we look at a map, there is a chest on the first floor. We're in the room at the top. So we want to go around the other way. There's that boat hanging in the middle there, which is... Odd, to say the least. Oh, no! No, no, no. Okay, barrel. Barrel. So, I am going to endeavor... You don't have to do this, but I am going to endeavor to sneak past these guys. To 
get to that chest. Actually, I want to see something. Is there a place it's safe for me to just drop down? I'm going to try that. Yes, okay. Barrel just falls to bottom floor. Moblins fail to notice. This will save us a little time. So. No, you didn't see anything. Keep moving, keep moving. Nothing to see here. Uh-oh. The rats can. I have seen this happen, I swear. The rats can somehow knock you out of the barrel and put you in plain sight of the moblins. Kind of thing, we want to go... Yeah, like that. We want to go this way anyway. Uh, it occurs to me now to shut down the last searchlights. Yeah. Uh, tell you what, I will meet you back in that room. Sound good? No, 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 no. Oh, get lost. And we're back. Now, this time, I am going to try to sneak all the way with the barrel because it occurs to me that the, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll spit it out in a moment. It occurs to me that the outdoor pathway between points on the Pentagon is how you get to a searchlight, and it doesn't have moblins on it. Come on, turn the other way, buddy. No, no, not this way, not this way. It's a uh, scintillating viewing, I understand. Like I said, I'm, I'm new to this whole Let's Play game. I'm learning. Okay, now I can let this guy pass me, but I gotta wait for the other guy to turn around. I like how close he is. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Sneaking, sneaking. Oh, no, no, you didn't see anything. Keep moving. Okay, so I'm essentially, I'm past most of the, the walking zone of that guy, the patrol beat. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Like I said, this, is, this should not be that difficult, but it's been a while since I've played. And the whole commentary thing is a new phenomenon for me. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. That danger music. I don't know if it... I can't tell... Cause Usually you don't hear it from the moblins, which might mean rats, which as we've seen is bad. Come on! This time cycle is not fair. A 
I'm probably just gonna speed this whole thing up or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some way that you don't have to suffer through this as much as I did. Oh, I know what the danger music is for. It's for the bats, the keys, as they're called in the Zelda universe. Okay, come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. This could be my opportunity. No! No! This is... I'm gonna make this a montage of failure. Montage of failure. That should be my, uh, autobiography title. Nobody steal that. No! This episode's gonna be a pain to edit. Wouldn't even let me get to the barrel. You know, at this point it should be obvious that this jail cell is not containing me. You would think somebody would investigate because they keep replacing the pot every time I'm out of here. Again. Leave me alone. Resuming normal programming. I have not been doing well with this. Um, I am not as stealthy as I thought I was. No, 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 You keep moving. One thing that's always puzzled me about uh, the, the world of The Legend of Zelda is that bats are keys, but rats are rats. Speaking of which, This is not going well. And we're back. Let's see if we can make this work this time. I'll tell you, if nothing else, this is gonna put my, uh, my video editing skills to the test. Oh no. No 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 That was odd. Did the did the rat just go for the mobble in there? Kinda looked like he did. Okay. Pass the first one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Turn around, buddy. Turn around. Turn around and turn around and turn around. See if anybody watching uh, can name that tune. Okay. Inching my way forward. Oh, come on! He's not supposed to come this far! can't keep my eye on both of them at the same time. Well, maybe I can. Let me see. This is where the C-stick uh, being used to control the camera is absolutely essential. Oh, no. No! No! Getting tired of this. Wait a minute. Ah! 
Okay. Slight shortcut. Wait a minute. Okay, no. There's no way over there from here. Let's try this again. Okay. No, no, no. You go away. You know what? I'm gonna try this again. No! Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay. I'm gonna go this way through this hall because I feel like the routes of these guys should be a little easier. Oh, I can't hide under that barrel, but five rupees, always good. Now, let's see. Okay, keep walking. And there's only one. Oh, why are you walking this way, man? Turn around and turn around and turn around. stressed out everybody. I don't know about you. This is proving so much harder than it should. Lesson in patience, I guess. Okay, guys, we did it. We made it past that room. And there's a chest here. Oh, and yeah, the security system that would probably have been more effective throughout the rest of the fortress, a Moblin statue that shoots lasers out of its eyes. Arguably more effective than regular moblins. And I got news for you all. We just did all that extra grief for a yellow rupee. I, uh, I had thought it might be another item that would be more useful. And I'll, I'll, when we see one of those, I'll tell you what it was that I thought I was gonna get. Should have looked that up first. Uh, let me see. There's got to be a way to climb out. This is the um, apparently the bunk room of the guards and the minions, which leads me to question the decision making behind having the laser eye statue overlooking. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, tell me this isn't what I think 
Because it doesn't show up on the map because it's out. <laughs> it is. I told you that I was an idiot. You can go all the way around. The outdoor rooms don't always show up on the map. But in my defense, that's a little confusing. But... Uh, now there's another ladder here. Okay, so after what I'm going to edit into a montage of failure, we see, as with most things in my life, that I made it so much more difficult than it needed to be. Okay, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? I'm gonna take out my frustrations on this poor Bokoblin here. It's really not his fault. But I'm mad. And he's gonna suffer the consequences. That's not a good way to live your life, children. Don't do that. Okay. Joy Pendant. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. I don't know if I mentioned this before. For some reason, Bokoblins have Joy Pendants. And you can get those from them from time to time. I did. I think that's where we got our... Yeah, that's where we got our first one. Right? It was from one of these guys. I don't remember off the top of my head. And now I'm lost. Uh, this is the way. Okay. We saw this ladder off to the side before. And now we will enter the room that is the bane of my existence from the other side. You see, for some reason, it like it indicates the outdoor rooms at least being rooms when you're inside here. Except for that one, that little stretch we just came through. So in my defense, the map, there is no defense, but in my defense, the map is misleading. Yep. Now, I know how you guys must feel because I am a big watcher of Many, many of the great Let's Players, and there are times I know that I'm also just screaming, No, turn around! There's a door right behind you! There's an easier way to do this! And now I'm on the receiving end of that, I'm sure, from you loyal, devoted viewers out there. Uh, all five of you. Now, so this is our first time in this little outdoor area, because this leads to the room that is a pain. I don't know why this box is here. It's useless, as far as I know. You can't push it anywhere to make a shortcut. It's just there. I got turned around. Now, if nothing else, this... I, and this is something I should have paid attention to and noticed, because... The lit torches, wherever you are, the lit torches point you towards the room you're trying to get to. Which is this one. Because this one has the big door that goes up higher into the fortress. So, if you become lost and the map isn't helping you for some reason, uh, you can... No, 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 we're not doing this again. You can follow the torches... I just want to say, um, I'd like to formally apologize to the Moblin Security Company, uh, for previously, uh, denigrating their efforts as watchmen and security forces because they have proven to be smarter than I am, if nothing else. Oh, come on, why can't you go any further... No, oh, don't do this to me. And that guy's looking straight at me. Yep, okay. I need to play this very carefully. Very carefully. 
The, the one downside is, unlike with the searchlights, the lantern glow is not an indicator of the line of sight of these moblins, as you've probably noticed already. So you, you kind of have to guess. Um, I mean, like, obviously, right now, if I move, he'll see me. But there's also a certain amount of peripheral vision. Okay, yeah, I'm going back to ripping the security forces here because neither of you noticed that that barrel wasn't there before. You could communicate with each other, perhaps, and say, Hey, was that barrel that is now between us there a moment ago? Okay. I might be far enough. I might be far enough. Just walk past me. Walk past me. And don't look back. No, no, don't... I... No! No, no, no! Okay, come on! Patience. Patience. Wait for this guy to walk by. And again, stick his head in the barrel. No, he turns around when he sniffs the barrel because there's something blocking his path. Okay, okay, made it around the corner. And... <laughs> I did it! I did it. Now get me out of here. Get me. Open the door. Go. Move. Okay. Okay. That room is done. We're not entirely out of the woods yet. But. Okay. You know what? No. Just in case. I'm going to keep going for now. Because I, I don't know exactly how long this episode is going to be. Because most of what I've recorded is going to be cut into the montage. But there's another barrel up here. Which can only mean one thing. Moblin. But I believe there's only this one. Incidentally, that little bling. Bling. You're hearing is an indication that... Uh, my health meter is a little too low. And in this case, it's at half full. Uh, it won't always be half if you increase your heart containers more. It's just a small percentage of it. And as annoying as it can be, there are times when it can be helpful. Okay. Now, turn around. And goodbye! Ah, uh, okay. We have made it. Now, here is one of the areas where you need to have turned the searchlights off. Because if you'll recall, when we first looked at the fortress from the pirate ship, you could see these little ledges and that there were searchlights scanning them. And we know what happens when the searchlights see you. Well, actually, I don't think we were ever caught by a searchlight, but basically the same thing that happens is what happens when a moblin sees you. You get thrown in jail. So if you have not turned the lights off, to my knowledge, you cannot cross this. Of course, you have to do the, the sidle along the wall. You have to hold the A button. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have made it past all the security forces, and there's our sword! And a green Bokoblin, and a totally, totally not ominous looking threshold here. So, tell you what, after that miserable excuse for sneaking through a fortress, I'm gonna call it here. And we're going to continue in the next episode. We will retrieve our sword and do what needs to be done. And hopefully save our sister because we should be pretty close by now. But I and probably you need a break. So I'll see you next time.